What's up guys, I'm Morgan, welcome to In The Moment. If you followed this channel before, uh, my last channel, it was called First React Tech, you probably followed it right up to the point where I actually left to, to go go through training to be a private contractor overseas. I uh, I passed the training, got the job, grew my hair out, trimmed my beard, lost some weight. I've, I've changed. So I won't go into any gnarly details about the job. It's a good job. Um, I'm gone overseas for about three and a half months at a time, and then I'm back for about a month. Um, so it's a good time to play, hang out with the kids. I feel like I get more time playing with the kids now than, than I did when I was working as a Harley Tech, which was what I was doing when I had first react tech. I picked up a new hobby on my last leave rotation, a new sport, if you will. Paramotoring. Paramotoring. What the hell is paramotoring? I knew what paragliding was, and I knew there was a motor form of paragliding, but I hadn't watched a single video on it until I saw uh, the guys from Flight Test go down to do paramotor training. That's where it all started for me. Something else that I never really talked about on this last channel was the fact that I fly RC airplanes. I actually do RC everything. Me and my son, uh, we drive crawlers, boats, cars, all of it. Uh, it's another expensive hobby, just like paramotoring. So one of the YouTube channels that I love watching is called Flight Test. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. It's an awesome show. It's basically built around getting people into the RC hobby, uh, RC flight mostly. <laughs> so watching that channel for years, um, I eventually watched them go down to Florida to Aviator PPG to learn how to fly paramotors. That video started it all for me. That was all it took to get me watching YouTube video after video, learning where I could do it, how I could do it, how much it cost, all the questions. Um, I learned so much stuck overseas for three and a half months. That's all I did was watch YouTube videos about paramotoring. So I already felt like I knew all the people before I even, before I even got started in it. So like any YouTube video, you're gonna have the quote unquote stars. You're gonna have the ones with uh, those few people that have really good editing, um, good quality, good content. Um, good information. I found a lot of those people. I'm not going to mention all the names, um, but like flight test, you know, they deserve they deserve pretty much a shout out video on their own. Um, so I'll do that later. All the guys that inspired me to find out what it took to do this, to see you know if it was even possible, if it was something that I could do. So I looked up some of the closest places to me, which were pretty spread out. Within you know two and a half to three hours away was the closest people that taught how to fly paramotors, you know, actual paramotor instructors. And so uh, I called a couple different guys and I ended up settling with uh, Ben Muir down at Freedom Paramotors, uh, Spring Hill, Tennessee, about a half an hour south of Nashville. Awesome instructor. Um, he worked with me on the time frame. You know, I, I came home and did this on leave in December, which was super cold. I know all you guys that fly paramotors already know how fun that was to learn how to fly paramotors in the middle of December, but it's what I had, it's the time frame, and Ben worked with me, you know, to, to get that time frame done. So I went down there, I ended up getting six flights, uh, six launches and five landings as I, I like to refer to it. Uh, came in a little hot, but again, went right back overseas, watch YouTube videos, figure out what I did wrong. Uh, I haven't even flown yet. I have my new paramotor already. Um, haven't broken out of the box. I'm about to do that probably today and uh, start kiting again. And uh, yeah, you, you start on those weeds and I'll, I'll get to the trees later. <laughs> <laughs> so this is also part of the mess, I don't know if you can see it all, um, that I created for myself trying to make a runway basically uh, to take off. It's not big enough yet. I won't be starting back here. I have tons of friends around here that are farmers that have huge fields. I'm going to start there until I'm confident enough that once all these trees are gone and I clear out some more, that it's actually a spot that I know I can take off and land from. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go through all my gear, do all my safety checks, um, and I want you guys to follow along with me. So that's it for this short little relaunch of this channel in the moment. Uh, I invite all the subscribers that are still on this channel uh, from the last one. You know, there was about 2,000 of you that probably forgot and never unsubscribed when I stopped putting content out with this new job. I hope you guys stick with me. I know a decent amount of that number was friends uh, from when I was in the military. So I know the first question on your mind is, are you doing gun runs? 
from the paramotor on your range. Uh, all my previous subscribers know I have a big range uh, out in one of the fields. I have thought about it. I have read all the way through the FAA. There's not a lot of rules, regulations. There's no license needed. Um, I feel like it's the kind of thing that once you do it, there will be a law against it. Um, so I'll think about it. I'll, I'll talk to some other people. Um, but that would be cool to do some uh, some flyby gun runs on the range and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. So punch that thumbs up button in the face if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. You ready? Yeah. Shh.